One cool way to use my Viewboard Manager Advance is to broadcast media. And one way we can create content is using Google Slides. In fact, uh, many of you might already be familiar with using Google Slides to broadcast. Maybe you're using a Chrome bit or something like that. So let's jump in and see how we can use Google Slides with my Viewboard Manager. So I'm already signed in to Manager. Uh, we can select an individual device or group of devices and we can select the broadcast button and then we're going to choose media content because technically it is media and we can choose a layout or we can just do a full uh, page essentially and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web page option and then it's going to want us to input the web page url so let's go to our google slides presentation and we can't copy the uh, regular Google Docs link at the top because that requires sharing permission. So what we're gonna need to do is go to File, and then we're going to choose Share, and we're gonna choose Publish to the web. Now this does make it a public link, so make sure you don't have any personal information on there. And we're going to choose some settings. So we can choose the length of which amount of time each slide advances. Uh, we need to make sure we select Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads. And then if you want this to loop, make sure you select restart the slideshow. Uh, we're gonna choose the publish link. It will give you a notification saying, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? We're gonna say okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy this URL here. And so we're gonna go back and put that into my Viewboard Manager. We're gonna hit the okay button and then okay to broadcast this. And you'll see that uh, the uh, Google Slides presentation will load and it will start advancing through each slide. Now, if there's a YouTube video or any other kind of media in the presentation, it will play that full video automatically and then advance to the next slide and it kind of ignores the uh, transition time that you selected beforehand. Now, let's go ahead and stop this broadcast because there is another way that we can broadcast a uh, Google Slides presentation. So maybe uh, it's something that you need to run every day. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the jobs section and we're just going to create a new job. We'll call this slides. And under type, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select broadcast. We're gonna click the plus button and then you'll see there's the broadcast menu. We're gonna choose media content. And just like before, we're gonna put that web page URL from that published link. Now here we can say it's gonna recur, we can say every day, and we can say, hey, we want it to broadcast, say at 8 a.m., and we can start today, and then you can choose an end date if you would like, and then any notes that you wanna do. From there, we need to go over and turn on the schedule, and then we need to assign it to devices. So we're gonna select assign device, and again, you can see we can select in individual devices or entire groups of devices. So once you have your devices selected, enable that schedule, and then what's gonna happen is every morning at 8 a.m., all the devices you selected are going to uh, load that Google Slides presentation. Now, just a quick note, anytime you're broadcasting Google Slides presentations, if you go back and make changes to the Google Slides uh, presentation, it does take a little bit for those changes to appear uh, during a live broadcast. Uh, in the morning, if you've made changes, uh, those changes will automatically be added. So it's actually a really nice workflow because I never have to go back in to Manager and broadcast. All I need to do is make updates to my Google Slides presentation, and then any of those updates or changes will automatically be broadcasted when you uh, have that job run uh, according to the schedule. So that's it. You can take your Google Slides, publish the link, uh, do it one time, or you can create a job to get that recurring presentation over and over again.